it just seemed like yesterday to when the six foot four shooting guard started to turn heads at every single gym that he played at. From his athletic levitation that he put on display, all the way into his tough clutch shot making ability. But it wasn't always like that. This is a player who's truly overcame a lot of adversity, but he always had it in to him to stay on track despite having to deal with all the hardships since a kid. This is the Lonnie Walker story. Lonnie Walker IV was born on December 14, 1998 in Reading, Pennsylvania. Now growing up, there was a point in time throughout his childhood to when Reading, Pennsylvania was the poorest city in the United States. And things honestly didn't come so easy to him and his family. And there were moments to when he didn't have a dinner to eat or times when him and his family did not have a clue where they would sleep at night. His father at one point in time worked four to five jobs and put in 19 hours a day sometimes. On one specific occasion, as Walker experienced seeing his mother receiving an eviction notice. There, at the age of just 12 years old, Lonnie would then wrap his arms around his mother and proceeded to tell her that one day he would get her away from all the stress and that she would have to never deal with anything again but being happy. But unfortunately for Lonnie, things did get pretty tough for him as he was a victim of sexual abuse, which resulted in him feeling like he in a way lost his freedom. That only developed into Lonnie growing his hair out. As he even stated, I had a mindset that my hair was something I can't control. Now those experiences really molded him into a strong individual as he got older and as he continued to just grow closer towards basketball, his father was a huge help in his development on and off the court. He would make Lonnie read for an hour after school and before training for basketball. During training with his father, as Lonnie was just in the third grade, he would make him do 400 to 500 box jumps on the daily, which left him crying. Now other parents would see that and would threaten to call child services. But truthfully, it all paid off because by just the sixth grade, Lonnie got his first in-game dunk on a 10-foot hoop. Now, Walker also did his thing on the football field. And during his seventh grade year, in one specific game, he scored five touchdowns and over 2,000 yards rushing in an eight-game season. Things would start to come around for him even more as he got older on the basketball court. Walker attended Reading Senior High School and went on to make varsity as a freshman. That season, he played 27 games and averaged 8 points per game. In that next year, as a sophomore, he upped his average significantly to 17 points per contest, but did end up having to end his season short due to injury. Coming into his junior year, he was 6'4", and was able to maintain averages of 17 points. Walker led the Red Knights to a 29-4 overall record and a trip to the PIAA Class 4A State Semifinals and ended that year being awarded 2016 Pennsylvania Gatorade Player of the Year. That summer, he participated in the Nike EYBL Summer Circuit and even teamed up with Cam Reddish while suiting up for team final. There, he put up 17 points while knocking down 45% of his shots, grabbed five rebounds, dished out three assists, and got one steal a contest, but also used his six foot 10 inch wingspan to the best of his abilities. Not only did he have a picture perfect form on his jump shot, he was one of the most athletic players in his class. As on a gamely basis, his crazy levitating ability caught the attention of a lot of people. Walker was easily one of the more so well-rounded scorers in all of high school basketball. And when he had the ball in transition, he was unstoppable. In his final year of high school, he put together his best season yet and averaged a career high 18 points per game while being able to surpass Reading High grad and former NBA player Danielle Marshall's school record in points by finishing with 1,828 total points scored. And on March 25th, 2017, during the state title game, Lonnie put up 22 points, 8 rebounds, 4 steals, and 3 assists in a 64-60 win over the Pine Richards Rams. 
that championship was Reading Senior High School's first state championship in program's 117 year history. He ended his senior campaign being named a McDonald's All-American and was voted Mr. Pennsylvania's basketball. ESPN even had him ranked higher than players like Trey Young, Shea Gilgis Alexander, and Jordan Poole. The five-star recruit held a plethora of offers from college programs like Villanova, Kentucky, Miami, Syracuse, and Arizona. But he made the ultimate decision to sign a letter of intent to play collegiate basketball at the University of Miami and even teamed up with 2018 second round pick Bruce Brown. On November 10th, 2017, the World Dynamic freshman made his debut and recorded 10 points in a season high in assists, five assists coming off the bench. He went on to record his season highs of 26 points and seven rebounds during his first collegiate start. Everything he did just seemed it so effortless. For his freshman year, he put up 12 points, three rebounds, and two assists a contest. He ranked 6th among ACC freshmen in scoring, including 5th among rookies in ACC play. And so after being named to the ACC All-Freshman Team and becoming the first freshman in Miami history to earn All-League honors, he was a projected first round pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, which led him to enter. There, Lonnie would be selected 18th overall by the San Antonio Spurs. On October 6, 2018, Walker was revealed to have a right medial meniscus tear. And shortly after he returned, the San Antonio Spurs assigned him to play in the NBA G League affiliate, the Austin Spurs, for pretty much the majority of the season. In his second season, things really didn't get that much better. He shot 55% at the rim, which made him one of, if not the worst finisher around the basket in all of basketball. But soon after, he would sort of start to break out of that slump. On December 3rd, 2019, Walker scored a career high as he scored 28 points, which included 19, all in just the fourth quarter alone. Lonnie also snagged four rebounds and got three steals in one block which helped his team defeat the Houston Rockets in a 135 to 133 double overtime win. Now, although he was showing flashes of how good of a player he would soon turn into be, he honestly just had a hard time of displaying consistent solid play on the court. As one game he would be up, but in the very next one, he would be down and struggle a bit. Now, as time went by, he started to show steady development and his minutes on the court started to increase as well, all the way up until the COVID-19 pandemic. And during his time away from the court, he really had time to reflect on his life and thought that cutting his hair would be the best decision to make in order for him to truly free him from his childhood trauma. He even stated, quote unquote, my hair was a mask of me hiding the insecurities that I felt the world wasn't ready for. But now I am better than ever. I have shed my skin mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Life will always be hard. Gotta play the cards you were dealt with and try to make a winning hand. And if you lose, it's never a loss, it's a lesson. Now, as the 2020 NBA bubble approached, not only did Lonnie have a whole different look, but he also took his game to the next level. He went from averaging six points in the regular season to averaging 11 in the bubble. Now, throughout that next season, little by little, you would start to see the improvement. And on March 20th, 2021, he put together arguably one of, if not the best game in his young career, as he dropped 31 points against the Milwaukee Bucks. In the 2021-22 season, he was able to maintain averages of 12 points, three rebounds, and two assists, while shooting 41% from the field and 31% from three. But as the offseason approached, he was a free agent. And fortunately, the Lakers decided to take a chance and signed a fifth year guard to a one year deal. And he truthfully exceeded a lot of people's expectations right out of the gate. And the 6'4 shooting guard has honestly been able to take that next step in the postseason. And in game four of the second round versus the Warriors, 
He came up big after going scoreless in the first three quarters. He simply exploded for his playoff career high, 15 points all in the fourth quarter, which helped the Lakers get the W. Walker became the first Laker since 1997 to score 15 points or more off the bench in the postseason. And currently he's averaging 12 points on 37% shooting. From experiencing childhood trauma to practically struggling to find his way in the NBA, Lonnie Walker has truly remained solid through it all and knew that just one day things would eventually pay off for him he just stayed ready through every single one of his opportunities honestly you know i've been shooting a lot of shots my entire life so um you know i got a lot of confidence in myself i know my value you know i know what i'm capable of doing and you know by the grace of god and a lot of hard work and sacrifices and time you know in the gym uh, the fruition kind of came. But to have my teammates be there with me through thick and thin understanding you know what it is and it's a great feeling, honestly. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Lonnie Walker story.